There are good reasons for a fleet to adopt a green fleet policy, not the least of which is cost reduction. The number one thing that a customer looks at when they're creating a green fleet policy, believe it or not, generally is cost reduction. So even if they're modeling and trying to come up with uh, the, uh, the needs within the organization or the motivation within the organization to make an investment in, say, a hybrid vehicle, um, they got to explain why the cap cost might be higher, but at the same time how their operating costs are going to be lower. So at the end of the day, what they're saying is, is hey, my operating costs have dropped. My fuel costs, for example, have made drop by 10 percent along with my emissions. It's a good win-win to be able to go into the CFO and say, by the way, we're going green, but we have the financial numbers to show that we're actually tracking to lower costs overall. We work with a lot of clients that are consumer packaging oriented type of clients, so they have a very green culture, a very green image to be able to show their customers that they're doing everything to lower their carbon emissions. Um, while other fleets maybe are uh, more in the service sector and uh, on the road every day very, very visibly driving vehicles in the public eye, uh, that's going to a lot of times come up from the fleet manager and again from that cost savings perspective is um, hey, we actually don't have a green program in our organization, but we want to create one because it's going to create cost savings for us. So either have the organization driving it top down, which is great. I have a customer that sits in on one of our scorecard processes. He's actually the uh, CEO of the company. It's a very large company. And uh, he makes decisions about vehicle selections right in those meetings based on the, the data we're giving him around carbon uh, projections and their cost projections. So it, it comes from all angles. Over the last six years, there's been so much focus on right-sizing and downsizing of vehicles to be able to get to a certain carbon footprint. Um, it's really exciting to see a lot of new technologies being explored, and some of them aren't even new, they're old. Uh, for example, natural gas, propane, two fuels that have, uh, they offer tremendous uh, greenhouse gas emission reductions, and also they're uh, very cost-effective from a per-mile uh, basis. So when you look at those type of fuels, uh, you see a lot of leverage today from fleets that are exploring it for the first time. We have several customers that have been using, for example, propane or CNG in their fleets for over 10 to 15 years. We've seen a lot of changes in those systems or those retrofits into those vehicles that are going to make this a, re a reality. But still the biggest challenge for those two fuel types is the infrastructure to fuel it. So is it readily available for the drivers? And that's where we come in with, with uh, Fleet Web and Donlin Driver, where we can actually map out those locations for our customers or those drivers so they can understand, yes, I do have a CNG vehicle. Where can I find that fuel?